It all started during one of our morning show chats. There was a survey going around asking people what they would be willing to give up in order to get a solid night's sleep each night. Working the overnight shift, most of us agreed we'd give a lot. And then Kristen said this. I sleep well every night. I truly do. What? I sleep me. well. I don't know. Awesome. Can I answer that question? <laughs> I would Lucky kill yeah. Kristen today. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm so happy for Kristen that she owns this shift and sleeps like a rock every night. So happy. But this did get me wondering, why do some of us seem to sleep better than others? And why do some of us need more hours of sleep to feel good the next day? I turned to Dr. Mohamed Saad. He's the medical director of the Sleep Lab for the University of Louisville. Let's talk about majority of population. So 80 to 85% of the population need about six to eight hours of sleep. Now, there is 7 to 10 percent of population, we call them short sleepers, meaning that they do fine sleeping four or five hours. And also there is 7 to 10 percent of population, we call them long sleepers, which means they need more than the eight hours. They sleep nine or 10 hours. So most of us are normal. We need the recommended six to eight hours each night. Some of us are blessed and can power sleep and meet our needs in less. Why? Well, it's just the way we're built, honestly. Dr. Saad says it's probably a combination of genetics and early development as a kid. These same factors can also explain why some of us fall asleep and stay asleep easier than others. Napping while the sun's out, sleeping through loud noises. Again, it's mostly just the way we're made. This is how you've been born and this is how it is. You just have to figure out for yourself how many hours your body needs. Do you feel rested? Do you feel refreshed? This is probably what your body needed. All right, so let's just set the record straight. No matter what you've convinced yourself of, Dr. Saad says you cannot train yourself to be a short sleeper. You also can't train yourself to get more deep sleep. Mm. Um, some, some factors in your lifestyle might impact for like a week or so, you know, some nights you sleep well, some nights you don't. But in general, you are either a short sleeper or you are not. So I know a lot of us on this shift, we <laughs> think we've trained ourselves to become short sleepers, but no, he says we're gonna pay for it at some point. We're a short sleeper yeah. whether we like it or not. Um, yeah. I got Four and a half last night. Oh man, I, yeah. I couldn't do I that. Six. I can't either. I need seven. I got eight. Yeah. Ooh, you like got seven eight. and a half. Eight. I, I yeah. got seven. Are you still tired? Yeah. What's going on? I think on? I'm a long sleeper. Right. Right. A whole pot of coffee. No, I'm good. I'm so, a half a cup in this morning. How do you I'm know right. when you're feeling refreshed? So he says. Some people that, wake up tired all the time. Right. Well, that's that's probably indicative of some deeper problem. And you should <laughs> you should see a Ouch, doctor man. Come if on. that's the case. But he said you can find out which you are just by doing your own experiment. You go to sleep and you don't set an alarm and you close the blinds and you yeah. see when you normally oh, wake up. Oh, Do that for a few like nights. Like a week later. It's really the weekend. Yeah. We'll have to try that on the weekend. Right. <laughs> well, and then you, you have to factor, you'll probably be catching up a little bit. Right. Once you've caught up on your sleep, yeah. you just let yourself sleep and you'll kind of know where your body mm. naturally sits. Are nice. you going to change your lifestyle based on this story? No. No. It's too long to answer. You can't change your yeah. job. There yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to just like really pay good. me my salary, then yeah, I'm totally down for that experiment. Totally. Yeah. Until that totally happens, now I'm gonna keep uh, living my life. I guess. What is it about mm. rain too that makes you sleep better? I don't. I don't that I seems don't like know. a you mm. question. I, I, <laughs> I do not know. We're gonna have to ask that doctor in Rob's package. Unfortunately, <laughs> for a lot of folks here in Kentucky, and no rain to be sleeping well, through today. <laughs>